Hey guys, Sean West here. I just wanted to give you a little bit of insight into my process and how I was able to create this effect. You may have seen one of my earlier versions. This is actually just pretty much a solid vector, um, a solid vector trace of one of my earlier sketches. But one of the important things is when you trace it in, you want to make sure it's got all of these paths in the letter. You don't want it to be just this solid outline or what I'm going to show you isn't really going to work right. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a copy of this and come over to a new document. Alright, so we've got these overlapping paths but we really want to make that overlap stand out. So what we're going to do is first I'm going to degroup this. So Command Shift G, probably a disclaimer. This isn't really a, a, a introductory Illustrator tutorial. It's probably a little more advanced. So I'm going to kind of blow through stuff, but um, uh, you can always rewind if you need to. So I'm going to Command C, Command F to paste in front. Now essentially we want to get this overlap here isolated. So first I'm going to hit the minus tool so we can get rid of these anchor points. And actually I'm going to change the color of this so you can see that it's a little bit different since I've got a copy over. Okay, so we've got this overlap here. I'm going to get the rectangle tool, just hit M on your keyboard. And about right there, hit V for the select tool, shift to grab this guy underneath it. We're going to intersect these. So we've got this nice um, overlap right here and it's isolated. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to take a break and show you in the keyboard shortcuts you're definitely going to want to set this shortcut up. Switch tools to menu commands and under object go to path and you'll want to set a shortcut for offset path because you're going to be using it a lot. I've got it for command shift P. I don't know what that was print or something before that I never used. Anyway, Command Shift P for me, but you'll want to set that. So I've got this copied, Command Shift P. I'm going to set my offset to 0 0.06 inches. You're going to want to just play with it. Turn on the preview if you need to. So I'm going to Command F, paste in front, and I'm going to select that and punch it out with the minus front. Uh, it doesn't look like it did anything there. I think there's a copy that we'll delete, but you can see that it punched it out and we really just want these two pieces right here, not this crossing over. You can you can get rid of that pretty much however you want. I just punch it out with a rectangle. Grab the pen tool. Again, just want to punch this out. I'll grab that. Shift. And minus front. Alright, now before we punch this guy out, we want to make sure we have a copy of this. So grab a copy of that. Make sure this is up front. And shift click that, punch it out. So we've got a nice overlap effect there, which is what we want. But you'll notice when we punch that out, all of this became one solid object, which is why we needed to grab that copy. So I've got it. I'm going to paste in front, Command F. Now we've got our overlaps again. I'm going to change that color so you can see the difference. So you can see that underneath. Now we've got our overlaps. So again, we want this guy to overlap over here. So we need to isolate this piece. So we need to get rid of this, uh, this part of the D that's overlapping. So we'll just take out a few of these anchor points with the minus key. So we, now we've got it isolated. I'm going to hit M for the rectangle and intersect those guys. Remember, we're going to want that piece again here, so make sure you've got that overlapping shape on your clipboard somewhere. Um, actually, I'm going to paste that here. I'm going to put it underneath so we're not distracted by it. So grab this guy, con Command C to copy, and my shortcut, Command Shift P for offset, and Command F paste in front punch that out, get rid of this middle piece, and again we're just going to want to 
get those guys. So I'm going to punch these. Uh, use the pen tool here. And grab this guy, V for the select tool, shift click this, and minus front. Oh, that's another thing you got to watch out for. Notice this disappeared when I punched it out. That's because these two are grouped. So you see when I select this, it also selects this piece even though it's not touching. So command shift G to ungroup. Now we've got this isolated so we can punch it out with this shape. And I'm going to go back and grab our orange shape, cut it. So we've got a nice overlap and we'll paste in front. Again, we'll want to just isolate these. So let's get rid of these other points. I think I want to keep that. Got to be kind of careful here. That'll work. Use the pen tool and intersect. Command C to copy my shortcut, Command Shift P offset path, and Command F paste in front, minus front, delete that middle guy. Uh, pen tool is going to be better here. Just punch out those parts. Again, we've got that grouping issue here. So let's ungroup this. Try that again. That's still still grouped. There we go. I think I was a little bit lazy on that cut, so you got to watch it. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. It's all in making sure you have all of these paths outlined instead of just a, a solid object. And as far as getting that roughened effect that I've got going here, that's actually a tip that I picked up from Chandler over at Method and Craft. And what he does is he takes this guy, oops, and you blow it up really big and we're going to use the roughen under distort and transform and turn on preview so we're going to roughen this um, set that to absolute just want to play with these settings depending on the size can adjust that detail So essentially just roughen it up at a really large size and then when you bring this, actually we're going to want to expand it. So um, Command Shift E, we're going to want to expand all of those shapes. So now when we bring it down, it's got that really nice texture to it, which is somewhat reminiscent of the original sketch. See how it has those irregularities in the stroke? Anyway, so um, that's kind of how I did this. Hopefully that was helpful to you and maybe you learned something. Thanks.